Hi, I'm Sandy Genovese, and we're adding two new clothespin critters to our existing clothespin dies. Now, the new ones include a frog and an owl, and I thought I'd start. I'll show you. It's called a clothespin critter because the clothespin is what's used to allow you to clip him. He can be clipped on your clothing. He can be clipped on your paper, on the homework. It can be going on a bulletin board. They can clip really anywhere you could clip a clothespin. Now, here is the owl, and I thought I'd show it up close so you can see how it works. The clothespin is just attached to the, the top of his body on the top of the clothespin and the bottom of his body, or the feathers, to the bottom of the clothespin so you can get in there and see that. In order to decorate him, I thought I'd show how easy it is to just assemble one of these little guys. So here is the die, and what I'm going to do first is I'm going to take and I'm going to place orange so that it will show through and it will give you a sense of his beak. And then I'm going to take and either with a smaller punch or you can also use a black marker. I'm going to add some black eyeballs to the white that's on the die. This gives me the front section and then the die I've also used to cut out the back section. Now it's just a question of adding the clothespin. I'll bring the clothespin over and I'll show you. What I've done is I've already gone ahead and I've placed double stick tape on the top of the clothespin, a little strip of it there and I've got some double stick tape on the bottom. So that now all I need to do is to place this so that it sits on the paper and the double stick tape is gonna fasten it down. And now I'll go ahead and I'll add over right over the top, I'll add this press to make the adhesive work on the tape. And look at that. If I wanna tape this onto somebody's paper, I mean, who? wouldn't enjoy that. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's so corny. You know, your students, they're sure to love making them. Look at all the choices. These are some of the existing clothespin critters that we have. Everything from spiders and ladybugs to bats, dragonflies, bees, butterflies, all kinds of cool choices. They're going to love making them and wearing them, and it will coordinate with the study of bugs, insects, amphibians, even mammals. Be sure to check back tomorrow for more new dice.